Today I'm going to be reviewing the Maxpedition Sabercat Versa Pack. And this is a fanny pack. I'll turn it around so you can check out the back of it. And if you like this pack, you can check it on the Maxpedition's website, maxpedition.com. What I've done is added this 2 inch strap to it. And this takes the weight load off my lower back because I have a tendency to pack my packs a little heavier. Another nice thing that this strap does is if you need access to your pack you can just undo your belt here grab the handle spinning around and this way you can get access to anything that's on your pack without having to take it off another thing I don't know how many times that I've actually undid my belt and forgot about it being so heavy and dropped it behind me so this would prevent that from happening and just allow you to set it down so let's take a closer look at the pack as well as some some of the contents that I have in it okay taking a closer look at the pack this is like all other Maxpedition products that has ballistic nylon material. This is coated with a Teflon fabric protector as well as a triple coat of polyurethane. So this gives you excellent water resistance as well as some abrasion resistance. And one thing I really like about the pack is these compression straps that allow you to open them up wide enough to where you could put a shelter system underneath. And you can see on mine what I have is a Hennessy hammock, which you've seen this on another uh, video that I've got. If not, check it out. And on top here, this has a nice bungee down bungee cord that can be adjusted. And what I keep in it is a pair of gloves. This does have a sleeve that goes all the way through, so you could put whatever you wanted. I keep a fixed blade knife in there. In this outside zipper compartment you can see it has plenty of molly attachment. This will allow you to fix something else there. It has a zipper compartment on the side. And what I keep in it is I uh, have a monocular topo map. The key lanyard I have a photon light also have a notepad, pen and pencil, magnifying book marker, which actually comes in handy if you get a splinter or you break your glasses or anything, it comes in handy for that. And uh, it does have the nice paracord pulls on it, the heavy duty zippers. Starting with the sides, salads pockets actually have compression straps on it as well, so if you want to snug that down once you, get, you have it on this pocket what I keep in here is all my lights which there's chemical light stick my headlamp and my surefire flashlight so it's just a great way to keep everything organized the other side has an identical pouch on that side and a compression strap as well and this is my navigation pouch I have a Garmin 60 CSX GPS, great GPS, and my Brunton compass. And there's a lot more room for other things in here. The top also has a zipper compartment on it, which you can see there's a webbing pocket right there. And this has toilet paper in that. Turn this around so you can get a better view. This has some webbing in it, and I keep hand sanitizer. It's my insect repellent. Eye drops, and a mini big lighter. And it does have a pocket behind the webbing that I just keep some wet ones in that. So plenty of room in here. If you needed to add some more stuff, you could certainly do that. This has a main compartment. And what I like about it is it zips really far down, so you have a nice clamshell opening. And in that, I have an emergency um, shelter. This also is a, a poncho. My FR1 pouch, this is my survival kit, so I never go anywhere without that one. It has two sleeve pockets in it that is velcroed down, and one side is just food. And it has a lot of Velcro on it, so you could also carry a concealed weapon if you if you wanted to do that. 
The other pouch has bandana, steel tent stakes for the emergency shelter, and some paracord cut to length for that. You can see there's just a lot of room in there, which you can actually fit a few more things in it. And on the hip belt, there's a lot of Molly attachments there. You can see I have this 10 by 4 water bottle, which is attached with the tack ties. Inside this, this is actually insulated inside it, so it keeps cool drinks cool and, you know, the hot ones hot. I have a water bottle. And you also can nest a cup inside that. This outside pocket has Molly attachments all around it. But I keep a nice fork spoon combination with a little clinch strap on it just to keep it clean. There is a, a handy wipe in there. You do have some other webbing which you could put something else in. The other side of the belt, all the attachments as well. You can see I had this sheath on it and this was from Maxpedition. And I have my Leatherman wave tool in that. And whether you keep a Leatherman or a Gerber, they all fit great in that. You could even keep a flashlight into it. And another thing I like, you remember at the beginning when we talked of the video, when we talked about the strap, um, if you wanted to test a little compartment on the side that you could take the hip belt and actually fit it into there and conceal it, you then could carry this by the strap handle here or put this on your shoulder just for a shoulder bag so I guess you know if you wanted to use this as a video camera outfit it would make a great one but uh, that's my review for the Sabercat and if you'd like to see more information check out maxpedition.com and thanks for watching my video